Well, as 2017 is nearing a close, the candidates for next year's Minnesota governor's race are beginning to take form. Clayton Castle was in Baxter today as the GOP candidates participated in a forum to lay out their visions for Minnesota. We're still 11 months away from Election Day, but the race for Minnesota governor found its way to Baxter today, where the GOP candidates were able to introduce themselves and explain why they are best suited to represent not just Minnesota, but specifically the Brainerd area. Brainerd is such an important place in the state of Minnesota. It's central to the state of Minnesota, but it also brings together uh, our economy, recreation, economic development. So it's really a great place to talk about the whole state and to talk about where Minnesota's headed. Woodbury Mayor Mary Giuliani Stevens used the word community to describe how Brainerd relates to other areas in the state. These communities want the same thing we want everywhere. They want safe communities, they want good schools, good jobs, and a growing economy where people want to live and work. Philip Parrish, a teacher and principal, says that all Minnesotans are the same and that his party's values will work for everyone, not just those in the Twin Cities. They're all Minnesotans. Why are we having the government pick winners and losers? Why are we having the government choose who kind of gets a leg up and who doesn't? It doesn't make any sense. Same goes for former Minnesota GOP chair Keith Downey. Well, the premise of my campaign is that we need to make Minnesota work for everyone. Everyone, and that includes the people here in Brainerd, it includes the people in the metro, out in greater Minnesota. The candidates didn't stray away from the real issues, though. While landing a few punches on the DFL party, many of the candidates did stress the need for a little compromise. Compromise isn't necessarily a bad word. I will agree to that. I was one of the leaders in getting bipartisan support of repealing the Sunday sales law in the state of Minnesota in the last session. But the main focus of the forum was to discuss the need of GOP values in Minnesota while also bringing in new ideas from each individual candidate. And I'm running for a really simple reason, to take power away from government and to give it back to the people of Minnesota. The Brainerd Lakes Chamber of Commerce also plans on holding a candidate forum for the state DFL party sometime in early 2018. Reporting in Baxter, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. The winner of next year's election will replace Governor Mark Dayton, who has announced that he will not seek a third term. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.